Hey guys, this is the 2019 Toyota RAV4 Limited, the closest RAV4 you can get before you flip over into the Lexus brand. And this vehicle is all tricked out. It brings the luxury to the new RAV4's muscular looks and capability. A vehicle that first came on the scene in 1994, Toyota sell about 400,000 of these every single year. And this version has a lot more accoutrements to make it sexy, very, very good looking, as well as still have all the things you expect from your family SUV, CUV. All right, when you look at the design of this vehicle, you'll see that it has a little more of an upscale look. Of course, the front end of every different RAV4 is slightly different, depending on the trim level that you actually get. This one has a very respectable look to it, a more of a rich person's RAV4, if you will. And that will come on the other end with the price. So you'll see a unique grille for this vehicle. The color is just called gray metallic, and this gray metallic has metal flex in it, of course, which give it a little more of a sparkle in the sunlight. We're standing out here in about 80 degree temperatures, and this has a nice little shine to it all across. The same sort of hood that you see in the other RAV4s that get to the lights. There are LED standard headlights and tail lights, but the fog lights here are incandescent fog lights as well. When you get to the side, there are some other changes to this limited trim level. Now the front end of RAV4s look much more like the Toyota trucks, uh, any more than they have done in the past, and that's masculined up the vehicle quite a lot. You'll see a lot of the angles here on the side fenders, they're much more masculine too. Uh, turn signal is an incandescent turn signal, not LED, but it's really when you get to the side of the vehicle here with the wheels and the cladding that it looks so much more sexy. The fact is the cladding is almost the same color as this gray metallic, still gives it that very big raised up feeling. This vehicle has actually gone from a 6.5 inch ground clearance to an 8.4 inch ground clearance. So it got a lot bigger from generation to generation. And you can see that prominence, but to luxury it up, Toyota have actually put 19 inch wheels on this vehicle that look absolutely amazing in this silver color. I'm already attracted to the RAV4. I already think it's the winner in the class. But when I look at the wheels, it's that sort of Lexus high-end luxury feel. Now, it's gonna cost you a lot more with this vehicle, but everything you get is just that one step below Lexus before you actually hit full luxury. Now, coming down the side of the vehicle, you know, you can get different roof colors in different trim levels. This vehicle has the gray metallic roof. It almost has the floating roof with the black pillars here. It has the monochromatic mirror caps here, They're the same color as the body. And then the door handles are chrome, and that's another thing that sort of really gives this a little more of a luxury feel. The sort of blinged out chrome makes you feel like you've got something super sexy. Let's take a look at the back end. Up top, you'll see there is an aero spoiler on top of the window that houses the third brake light windshield wiper. This is kind of cool, a silver strip at the back here. It's actually plastic, but it looks kind of nice, gives that limited version a more luxury feel. It has the reverse hourglass look at the back of the vehicle, and then monochromatic strip here just before the bottom. The bumper itself is monochromatic, and then the twin uh, tailpipes, which is more masculine, but still with those luxury features on the limited. The first thing you noticed on the inside of the new Toyota RAV4 Limited Edition is that everything is covered in leather, including the doors themselves, and they are soft touch. Uh, beautiful stitching, soft touch door panels on the inside. In front of the driver, it's the same steering wheel as the Camry. There is also a TFT thin film screen between the two gauges that gives you a lot of different information. This has the upgraded eight inch display on the inside of the car. It has the wireless charging, two cup holders, and then your HVAC controls. And inside, still something that is on every other grade of RAV4, which is the rubber grips on the inside of the door handle. Love that portion of the vehicle. Think it really speaks to how the car has become more masculine. The seats are super comfortable. This is probably the most comfortable driver's seat that I've ever sat on and the leather is really high quality. 
But the usability of the vehicle is also important. You're not just buying this because you want luxury in your RAV4, you also want usability. Great rear legroom, it's a noticeable increase from the last version of the RAV4. And in the back, 69.8 cubic feet with the seats down, 37.8 cubic feet with the seats up. So good usability on the inside. Now tech and safety, we talked about the eight inch infotainment screen. It has the Intune 3.0 as standard. A rear view camera mirror with settings available. Never seen anyone else do settings on this. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is on the way. JBL sound system sounds excellent. Amazon Alexa, Waze and Safety Sense 2.0, which includes the lane trace. But what's under the hood? Out of the hood, you'll find a 2.5 litre engine. Toyota have developed this engine perfectly. The one thing you need to know about this vehicle is if you're looking for sporty, big, revvy performance, you're not gonna find it. Well, you're gonna find the revvy part. It's 203 horsepower. Once you get this out onto the road, it really takes quite a lot of stomping on the gas to get the power to come out. Now, the power is all there and it's all available, but you hear almost that European sound of the car revving up. We'll demonstrate that when you get into the vehicle. So you're gonna hear a lot of noise when this vehicle actually performs. The thing I love about this is it's mated to a real eight-speed automatic transmission. No CVT, you lose a little bit of top fuel economy, which is 33 miles a gallon in this, you can get a lot more in the hybrid. But fuel economy is excellent and even at its worst, you should be getting around 18 to 20 miles a gallon in the city with lots of stop starts. It's a great engine that performs really well and they've tuned it for a mixture of performance and a mixture of fuel economy. And it'll even tow 1,750 pounds. So the vehicle is well rounded. Let's take a look at what it's like to get onto the road. Behind the wheel of the new RAV4, it's a noticeable, so much better drive than many of the crossovers in this category. Now, I mentioned when I talked about the engine a little bit, that once you put your foot down, the engine gets fairly loud, very European style of engine before it gets a lot of the power, but see what I mean? There you have an example of me slamming my foot down. It does sound like it revs extremely loud, but the power is actually there and it's available pretty instantaneously. The vehicle holds itself in the road really well. It's easy to drive, easy to steer. The steering is a medium to light feel in the vehicle. On the interior, the ergonomic position for the driver is remarkable. And I say this, I have driven some of the most expensive vehicles in the world, $420,000 Rolls Royces. The feeling sitting in this driver's seat is one of absolute calm and comfort. Now Lexus, Toyota's luxury arm of the company, are famous for their Tacomis, the guys that do all of the mastery of driving, of uh, interior luxury, and of the comfort feeling. And they're really good at that. Uh, it's sort of drifted over into the Toyota brand. I mean, I feel almost like I'm floating inside this vehicle. It is so comfortable. Some of the most comfortable seats I've ever driven. The vehicle's easy to drive, it's easy to position in the road. Although there's a tiny bit of lag because of the naturally aspirated engine, when you put your foot down, it works well. And braking is soft and smooth. This vehicle is absolutely top of its class when it comes to driving dynamics. So overall, the 2019 Toyota RAV4 Limited is a great package. If you're not ready to step up to a luxury vehicle, this has about everything you could possibly imagine on it and that huge list of standard equipment. It also makes it look a lot more elegant with the chrome accents on the interior and exterior. It has a lot of tech features that you would have to pay upgrades for if you wanted to buy one of the other trim levels. It also has those beautiful leather seats, the leather interior, and it is a true just one step below luxury SUV or CUV. The cost, it starts at just under $34,000. It's not gonna be hard to get 
this to around $38,000 if you add in a few of the options on the Limited. On the highway, I'm getting over 33 miles a gallon because I'm pretty good at hypermiling. So, a great piece of machinery. If you want to see more of our reviews, you can go to ourautoexpert.com, testmiles.com, subscribe here, or join us on any of our social media platforms where 2 million Americans get their automotive information daily.